So in this example, we are going to see how to specify a periodic loop inside an FMU. So we reuse our example 4 as a template. So there are two variants to do so. So here in this example, this is the first uh, variant. So let's go to the classifier behavior diagram. So we will remove the accept event action for the absolute date. And we will add a couple of nodes inside our uh, classifier behavior. So the idea is to use a merge node to specify the loop. Adapt the control flows. So something which is important to do is to have every node in the loop completely connected, otherwise you just have one iteration and the loops stops. So we have closed the loops and uh, we can remove the final node. So this is an infinite periodic loop. So let's perform an experiment and see uh, what happens. So let's press in it. So we see that the execution starts and intuitively we think that at 0.5 the execution should go forward. But in this case, nothing happens. So this is because we have made a common mistake uh, in activity diagrams, which is that we have two uh, input control flows uh, on a given uh, action so that this action can never execute because there is a kind of cyclic uh, dependency. So of course, the right thing to do is uh, to adapt a bit uh, the control so that the control flow starting from a set Y action goes towards the merge node. So a merge node uh, is a node which is able to execute uh, as soon as only one of its input um, flows has provided a value. So in this case, there will be no more uh, troubles. So the loop is specified. And uh, after another 0.5, the execution uh, goes on. So uh, we have specified our, our periodic loop. So let's update one of the value. So let's put 8 in this case. And we should see as a, as a demonstrated in the previous example that the output is updated. Again, if we put one, we will switch back to false on the Y output. <laughs> 